Welcome back to another video, Katia V5, Shape Sculptor. We're gonna check Mesh Intersect within this video. So let me add the additional tooltip over here and we're gonna see that Mesh Intersect will intersect and slice meshes with surfaces and meshes. So let's take a look at, um, at this. I will also add um, a new mesh over here. So we have a planar mesh. And I will add the monkey from Blender, so Zen. I will hit apply and we're going to see that the mesh of the monkey will be added over here. Now, I will move the monkey and position it over here. And I would like to position this and have it rotated to the plane. So I will go to edit and uh, we're going to see exactly the axis in this case. I will rotate it over here once. And we can also move it around. So depending on the intersect area, but initially I will position it like this. So we see the mesh of the monkey and we see the planar mesh over here. If I will hide the monkey and we're going to check that mesh, we're going to see that the geometry of this is um, let's say already segmented so we see over here the profile um, of the monkey and we also see over here some ears so those are from the mesh entitled Felix over here which is this one and this is presented within um, Katia documentation so if I'm gonna check this on properties we're gonna see that this file was created in 2003. So that's Felix Mesh. And uh, yeah, now we're going to have the monkey, which is this one. As we can see, I positioned the monkey head now over here on top because previously I already intersected this once. This is why if I'm going to check the wireframe, we're going to see that we already have an intersect over there. So let's do another one, but at the bottom. Therefore, I will select the monkey head and I will bring Suzanne somewhere over here. Now I will enable the visualization to be shaded and I will go to mesh intersect. So I want this to be sliced. So I will uh, select the monkey head, hold down control, select the mesh. And we're going to see with a blue outline the area where those will be sliced. So if I will click OK, keep in mind that nothing will happen over here. This will act just like a slice. If you don't know how slice works, check my previous video because uh, I presented that over there in details. So I will click apply. Hit OK. And afterwards, if I will hide the monkey, we're going to see that within shaded visualization like this we won't see any difference but if i will go to the wireframe we're gonna have that that sectioning done over here so we have that slice so just like within the previous uh, command mesh intersect will uh, act the same there is also there is also um, another functionality of this so let me select the monkey head and I will drag it somewhere over here. And we're going to check the second option, which is create curve. So I will select the monkey head, select the plane. And um, with create curve enable, not with slice, if I will click apply, we're going to see that Katia will generate multiple curves regarding that poly mesh. So we see over here those intersection curves. If I'm going to click OK. And um, now if I will hide the monkey head, we're going to have that profile defined as an intersection curve. So we can use this within other features. So this was the video regarding mesh intersect. We still have the following tooltips over here to, to address but all those will come within the next videos. So if you enjoy this content, consider to subscribe. I will also position a similar video on the bottom left. 
I will add this to Katia tips and tricks and uh, the subscribe button will be on the right so please consider to, to subscribe to support this channel. So that's it, thanks for watching.